Hello everybody, this is Pierre, your Chemdraw Wizard, and in this video we will go back to something a bit more serious than Harlem Shake, and see how to quickly draw a neat looking catalytic cycle. For this, I have chosen the Sonogashita Palladium Cross Coupling Reaction Mechanism, and to make things a bit more original, I'm going to show you how to have it shaped as an ellipse. So the only thing that you will need to draw the cycle is a simple arrow, and let's have a look at the basics of the arrow tool. You can extend it by dragging the ends of the arrow, which you probably knew, and with the middle handle you can curve it and change the radius of curvature. Now with the curved arrow, holding shift and clicking on one end lets you move only the selected end. And if you hold alt and shift while you click and drag, you get a finer movement. What's important to know is that every curved arrow does close into a circle when you extend it. So if we select this circular arrow, we can resize it, and by holding shift while resizing, we can actually distort the circle into an ellipse. And this is the overall shape that our catalytic cycle is going to have in the end. So we will start with some zero-valent palladium catalyst, right here. And it's F9 to make things subscript and F10 to make them superscript. I am going to add an arrow for the first reagent. I'm going to curve this arrow, position it. Then right click to remove the arrowhead and adjust the length. Now I'm adding some bromobenzene for the oxidative addition. Select, control, click and drag to duplicate. Sprout three bonds, add a triphenylphosphine label, then switch to the single bond tool and triple click to repeat the last label. Some bromine and palladium. And now here comes the trick. I'm going to duplicate the first arrow with control, click and drag, and overlay it back on top of the first one, and then drag both ends towards the following reaction intermediate. Now here I hold control, click and drag to duplicate, I adjust the length, and then select the arrow and control shift H to flip horizontal. Now I will add some more components of the reaction with a copper acetylide right here, copper and TMS that will give some copper bromide. And now I'm going to duplicate both molecules. First this one, control, click and drag, and then the acetylide. I'm gonna adjust the angle, remove the atoms, select these two, and hit control J to join both parts. Again, here we are going to Duplicate this arrow, overlay it back, and then adjust the ends. Of course, as you may imagine, you can do just the same with a perfectly circular arrow, but I like fancy. Now, the isomerization step. We move this, adjust the triphenylphosphine, and then put the benzene ring back. And now one last time, duplicate the arrow, overlay it back, and adjust both ends like this. Now one final arrow that I am going to curve, position and adjust the length and the product of the reaction that I draw by duplicating, adding a triple bond and some TMS. Et voila! Who said it was difficult to draw a catalytic cycle in Kamjo? And that's it for this time. As always, I hope this video has been helpful to you, and if it has, please share it with your friends and colleagues. One last thing, we have a new at Chemdra Twitter handle, so please make sure you have a look. Now, once again, I thank you all for your attention, and have a good one.